Alcoa Corporation from Aluminum Company of America is an American industrial corporation. It is the world's eighth largest producer of aluminium, with corporate headquarters in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Alcoa conducts operations in ten countries. Alcoa is a major producer of primary aluminium, fabricated aluminium, and alumina combined, through its active and growing participation in all major aspects of the industry, technology, mining, refining, smelting, fabricating, and recycling. In May 2007 Alcoa Inc. made a $27 billion hostile takeover bid for Alcan in an attempt to form the world's largest aluminium producer. The bid was withdrawn when Alcan announced a friendly takeover by Rio Tinto in July 2007. On November 1, 2016, Alcoa Inc. split into two new entities Alcoa Corporation, which is engaged in the mining and manufacture of raw aluminium, and Arconic, which processes aluminium and other metals. Alcoa moved its headquarters back to Pittsburgh effective September 1, 2017. In October 2018, Alcoa announced plans to move from Pittsburgh's North Shore to a more downtown Pittsburgh location. History In 1886, Charles Martin Hall, a graduate of Oberlin College, discovered the process of smelting aluminium, almost simultaneously with Paul Arrow in France. He realized that by passing an electric current through a bath of cryolite and aluminium oxide, the then semi-rare metal aluminium remained as a byproduct. This discovery, now called the Hall Arrow process, is still the only process used to make aluminium, however, see also Bayer process. Probably fewer than ten sites in the United States and Europe produced any aluminium at the time. In 1887, Hall made an agreement to try his process at the Electric Smelting and Aluminum Company plant in Lockport, New York, but it was not used and Hall left after one year. On Thanksgiving Day 1888, with the help of Alfred E. Hunt, he started the Pittsburgh Reduction Company with an experimental smelting plant on Smallman Street in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 1891, the company went into production in New Kensington, Pennsylvania. In 1895, a third site opened at Niagara Falls. By about 1903, after a settlement with Hall's former employer, and while its patents were in force, the company was the only legal supplier of aluminium in the United States. By 1902, New Kensington consisted of 173,000 square feet on 15 acres with 276 employees, and the company operated hydropower and reduction plants in Niagara Falls, NY. 1895. 5, Shawinigan Falls, Quebec 1900, mining operations in Bauxite, R 1901, and reduction facilities in East St. Louis, IL 1902. The Aluminum Company of America became the firm's new name on January 1, 1907. The acronym, Alcoa was coined in 1910, given as a name to two of the locales where major corporate facilities were located although one of these has since been changed, and in 1999 was adopted as the official corporate name. From 1902 until 1915 additional plants in Massena, NY 1903, Alcoa, TN 1911, Edgewater, NJ 1915, Baden, NC 1915 came online while New Kensington had 31 buildings in the complex housing six departments tubes, sheets, rods, bar and wire, extrusion, jobbing, foil, and two sub Subsidiaries Aluminum Cooking Utensil Company and Aluminum Seal Company. In 1907, it created the Company Town of Pine Grove, New York, for workers outside Massena. 
In Baden, Alcoa, Maryville and elsewhere the company funded the construction of schools, parks, playgrounds and medical facilities. By the end of World War I Alcoa's new Kensington facility accounted for 3,292 workers, a fifth of the local population, and covered over 1 million square feet of manufacturing space on 75 acres. In 1938, the Justice Department charged Alcoa with illegal monopolization and demanded that the company be dissolved. The case of United States v. Alcoa was settled six years later. Alcoa purchased an 8% stake of Aluminium Corporation of China in 2001. It tried to form a strategic alliance with China's largest aluminium producer, at its Pinguo facility, however, it was unsuccessful. Alcoa sold their stake in Chalco on September 12, 2007, for around $2 billion. In 2004, Alcoa's specialty chemicals business was sold to two private equity firms led by Roan Group for an enterprise value of $342 million, which included the assumption of debt and other unfunded obligations. Roan Group then changed the name to Almatis, Inc. In 2005 Alcoa acquired two major production facilities in Russia, at Samara and Balea Kalitva. In 2005, Alcoa began construction in Iceland on Alcoa Fjeral, a state-of-the-art aluminium smelter and the company's first greenfield smelter in more than 20 years, albeit under heavy criticism by local and international NGOs related to a controversial dam project exclusively dedicated to supplying electricity to this smelter. Also, Alcoa has completed or is undergoing primary aluminium expansion projects in Brazil, Jamaica, and Pinhara, Western Australia. In 2006, Alcoa relocated its top executives from Pittsburgh to New York City. Although the company's principal office is located in New York City, the company's operational headquarters are still located at its corporate center in Pittsburgh. Alcoa employs approximately 2,000 people at its corporate center in Pittsburgh and 60 at its principal office in New York. Alcoa was named one of the top three most sustainable corporations in the world at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, on May 8, 2008. Klaus Kleinfeld was appointed CEO of Alcoa, succeeding Alain Belda. On April 23, 2010, Alcoa's board of directors selected Kleinfeld to the office of chairman. Following Belda's planned retirement, on July 16, 2012, Alcoa announced that it would take over full ownership and operation of Evermore Recycling and make it part of Alcoa's global packaging group. Evermore Recycling is a leader in used beverage can recycling, purchasing more recycled cans than any other group worldwide. In June 2013, Alcoa announced it would permanently close its Fusina primary aluminium smelter in Venice, where production had been curtailed since June 2010. On January 9, 2014, Alcoa reached a settlement with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and the U.S. Department of Justice over charges of bribing Bahraini officials. Under the terms of the settlement they will pay the SEC $175 million to settle the charges. To settle the criminal claims with the DOJ, Alcoa World Illumina AWA, a company within Alcoa World Illumina and Chemicals is pleading guilty to one count of violating the anti-bribery provisions of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act FCPA. AWA will pay the DOJ $223 million in five equal installments over the next four years, bringing the company's total bill for the scandal to $384 million. In June 2016, Alcoa announced plans to split itself into two companies. 
A new company, Arconic, would take over the business of designing and building processed metal parts, primarily for the automotive and aerospace industries, while the Alcoa name would be remain on a company that continued the mining, smelting, and refining of raw aluminium. The split was completed on November 1. In April 2017, Alcoa announced that it would relocate its corporate headquarters back to Pittsburgh as part of a general consolidation of administrative facilities around the world. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environmental record. The Political Economy Research Institute ranks Alcoa 15th among corporations emitting airborne pollutants in the United States. The ranking is based on the quantity 13 million pounds in 2005 and toxicity of the emissions. In April 2003, Alcoa Inc. agreed to spend an estimated $330 million to install a new coal-fired power plant with state-of-the-art pollution controls to eliminate the vast majority of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide emissions from the power plant at Alcoa's aluminium production facility in Rockdale, Texas. The settlement was the ninth case the Bush administration pursued to bring the coal-fired power plant industry into full compliance with the Clean Air Act. Alcoa was unlawfully operating at the Rockdale facility since it overhauled the Rockdale power plant without installing necessary pollution controls and without first obtaining proper permits required by New Source Review program of the Clean Air Act. In February 1999, Alcoa cleaned soils and sediment contaminated with polychlorinated biphenyls PCB and lead at the York Oil Federal Superfund site in Moira, New York, in accordance with the Environmental Protection Agency. The site, a former waste oil recycling storage facility, accepted waste oil from a number of companies, including Alcoa. The facility was improperly managed and operated and, as a result, soils on the York Oil property and nearby wetlands sediments and groundwater were contaminated. The United States Environmental Protection Agency EPA issued a Superfund unilateral order on December 31, 1998, requiring Alcoa to excavate, treat and dispose of the contaminated wetland sediments. Topic. Operations by country Topic. Jamaica Alcoa formed the Alcoa Minerals of Jamaica subsidiary on the island in 1959, shipping their first load of bauxite in 1963 from Rocky Point. Later in 1972, Alcoa established a 500,000 metric ton per year refinery where they process bauxite into alumina. They have continued to upgrade the plant through the years and it's now capable 1,425,000 metric tons per year. In 1988 the Jamaican government gained a 50% share in the subsidiary and renamed the operation to Jamalco, Alcoa being the managing partner. Expansion of the operation in 2007 resulted in Alcoa owning a total of 55% of the operation. Alcoa continues to mine bauxite in the Jamaican parishes of Clarendon and Manchester while competitors' operations take place in nearby parishes. <laughs> Ghana Alcoa's affiliate in Ghana, the Volta Aluminium Company, was completely closed between May 2003 and early 2006, due to problems with its electricity supply. <laughs> Guinea 
Alcoa is a major owner of the FR, Company des Bauxites de Guinée through Halco Mining, together with Rio Tinto Alcan and the Guinean government. Guinea is the second global producer of bauxite and it is said to have half of the world's reserves. Iceland The Fjardal smelter in eastern Iceland was completed in June 2007, and brought into full operation the following April. The plant processes 940 tons of aluminium a day, with a capacity of 346,000 metric tons a year, making it Alcoa's second largest capacity smelter. For power, the plant relies on the Karanjakar hydropower plant, constructed and operated by the state-owned Landsverkjan specifically for the smelting operation. That project was subject to controversy due to its impact on the environment. In 2006, Alcoa and the government of Iceland signed an agreement on instigating a thorough feasibility study for a new 250,000 tpy tons per year smelter in Baki by Husavik in northern Iceland. In October 2011, the proposed project was dropped because the power availability and proposed pricing would not support an aluminum smelter. Alcoa announced plans to close the office in Reykjavik. Wales <inaudible> 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 On November 21, 2006, Alcoa announced that it planned to close the Wanralwyd works in Swansea, with the loss of 298 jobs. Production ceased at the Swansea plant on January 27, 2007. A small site closure team worked at the site until December 31, 2008. The site is still owned by Alcoa, but is now managed locally and renamed, Westfield Industrial Park. Several of the large buildings are leased out to local businesses. Australia Alcoa operates bauxite mines, alumina refineries and aluminium smelters through Alcoa World Alumina and Chemicals, a joint venture between Alumina Limited and Alcoa. Alcoa operates two bauxite mines in Western Australia. The Huntley and Willowdale Mines. Alcoa World Alumina and Chemicals owns and operates three alumina refineries in Western Australia, Quinana, Pinhara, and Wagerup. The Wagerup expansion plans have been put on hold due to the global financial crisis. Two aluminium smelters are also operated in the state of Victoria at Portland and Point Henry. The Point Henry smelter was scheduled to be closed in August 2014. Alcoa Australia Rolled Products, a 100% Alcoa Inc. venture, operates two rolling mills. The Point Henry Rolling Mill in Victoria and the Yenora Rolling Mill in NSW have a combined rolling capacity of approximately 200,000 tonnes. Alcoa uses 12,600 gigawatt hours or 15% of Victoria's electricity annually. Alcoa's Western Australian Wagerup plant has a troubled history in the context of claims that pollution from the plant has had an adverse impact on the health of members of the adjacent local community. Topic: <laughs> United States On January 3, 2003, Alcoa opened its new operations headquarters on the north shore of Pittsburgh. This move came about after it donated its 50-year-old skyscraper headquarters in downtown Pittsburgh to the Regional Development Authority. Alcoa created a plant just outside Maryville in Blunt County, Tennessee. To support the factory, Alcoa built a small city and named it as such. 
The Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union was the first employee created credit union in the state. The plant is no longer an Alcoa business. Alcoa's Masena West plant is the longest operating smelter in the United States, having been in continuous operation since 1902. The Reynolds Aluminum plant became Masena East when the companies merged in 2000. Alcoa had a smelting plant in Baden, North Carolina from 1917 to 2007 and continued a hydroelectric power operation there until February 1, 2017 when the Yadkin Hydroelectric Project was sold to Cube Hydro. Alcoa also operates an aluminium smelting plant of similar size to the one in Tennessee in Warwick County, Indiana, just east of Newburgh. Vectron Energy operates a coal power plant on the site to provide electricity. Alcoa maintains several research and development centers in the United States. The largest one, Alcoa Technical Center, is located east of its Pittsburgh headquarters at Alcoa Center, Pennsylvania. The Tech Center is as large as some college campuses, has its own zip code and maintains an extensive intellectual and physical resource for innovation. Alcoa's extensive safety program continuously improves safety at the Tech Center. After Paul O'Neill became Alcoa CEO in 1987, Alcoa became one of the safest companies in the world. Despite the aluminium industry's inherent risks, Alcoa plans to close offices in Richmond, Virginia, Nashville, Tennessee, and Chicago. Topic: In popular culture. Alcoa is portrayed as the main sponsor of the CBS 1953 program See It Now in George Clooney's Academy Award-nominated film Good Night, and Good Luck. See also Illumina List of Illumina refineries Alcoa World Illumina and Chemicals Alcoa, Tennessee Alcoa Power Generating Inc. List of aluminium smelters 1953 Alcoa Aluminum Advertisement